for those who uh, are, uh, you know, here and are have just gotten here, uh, as Matt said, this is a stream that is here to benefit the Video Game History Foundation. Uh, this is us helping raise money in memory of Mario, who died tonight. So... But he's not dead yet. <laughs> We're gonna kill him. Uh, thank you for the follow, Nasek089. Well, Mario, the, 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 uh, timeline of Mario's death is quickly moving forward, much like the slow drip of time. Um, so you can donate to the Video Game History Foundation, which is a, uh, foundation, as one might guess, dedicated to preserving video games, whether Nintendo wants them to or not. <laughs> and, uh, you can find the link to donate money to that cause, uh, if you type exclamation point donate in the chat and you can uh, you too can give money to this great cause meanwhile uh, like Matt said Mario Sunshine's coming up after that we're going to have Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light I don't know who's playing that I know it's not me because no but uh, <laughs> Faded uh, the most famous Mario game on the list obviously um, as you can see he, he had a bit of an anime uh, an anime stint Mario did and so he looks like that in the game uh, then Galaxy which you know what Mario Galaxy is if you're on this channel I think it's real good I it's love very good. that game and then uh, Super Mario 35 assuming that game is still up by the time we get we get to that part of the schedule if not it's going to get wild because it could go down at any minute today, apparently. I'm honestly surprised it's still up. I am I kind of expected to get here and have it not shocked. be here anymore. Uh, Popping back to say, well done to whoever put the flag at half mast. That would be me. Thank you. I'm very happy with that. So, do you guys think that that, um, that app will just like disappear? No, or... you'll be able to go into it. It'll just be like, thanks for playing. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the servers will just be down. It'll become yeah. unplayable. Yeah, like I mean. You could still see that with like any other game, like uh, online only things that are inactive. You could still access them. Okay. It's just that there's nothing you can do. I'm trying to think of another. I mean, even like the Splatoon test fires. Like, I think if you were to let, you could still have that app. It's just right. that you can't do anything with it. Uh, Professor Toadstool. So it's like Mario 35 will be a literal virtual grave to visit. Yeah, Oops, yeah. pretty much. It'll be there to remind you. That's awful about how like yeah like that's the thing like not that not that i think that making 3d all-stars unavailably digitally is oh we can't hear you matt welcome you to our beautiful home this beautiful no, voice actor. i'm no i'm i'm mouthing along to the, oh. the guy oh okay. ah. i liked it better when you were muted <laughs> you looked like you were saying something really impassioned this and more await you on Isle Delfino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. Wow, have you practiced? That was really good. I feel like he's played this game a lot. Uh, oh no, who's you that asshole? You should play this game a lot. Dude, when I was like eight years old, this plot blew my mind. I, so, yo man, when I was, when I was like, what, 14, same thing. Mm-hmm. It's so, crazy. Oh my gosh, is an evil Mario? You gotta clear his there's name. There's voice acting in a Mario game that then they didn't really do any voice acting ever again. So I'm here's a, here's, that. A shot is so bad. here's a fun fact about the voice acting in this Mario game. It's uh, bad. Well, yes. <laughs> but uh, so Princess Peach has a different voice actress in each of the games in this collection. In Super Mario 64, she is voiced by Leslie Swan, who uh, yeah, worked who in... Someone who worked at Treehouse, not yeah. a professional voice actor. Yeah, she worked at, at Nintendo time, America. At the time, I, yeah, at the time, I believe she was uh, editor-in-chief at uh, Nintendo Power. Yeah. Uh, I think she's still there. I believe she's still at uh, Nintendo. Uh, so, uh, in Super Mario Sunshine, I cannot believe I'm forgetting the name of this actress, but she is the voice of Cortana in Halo. What's her name? Yep. Yes. Um, Jennifer Hale? Je no, no, not Jennifer Hale. That's Samus. Uh, oh, God. And you know, Commander Shepard. Uh, Je Jen Taylor. Jen Taylor. Yeah, Jen Taylor. I, I was close. Meg Taylor. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then Jennifer Hale, 
Meg Taylor, you know, split the difference. Yeah. And then I forget the I also forget the name of her actress in Mario Galaxy. I believe that is her current voice actress as well, who was yeah. a local stage actor in the in the West Coast Samantha area. Samantha Kelly. Samantha Kelly. I think she, she also is... does Toad, Toadette, Baby Peach, and Pink Gold Peach. Mm -hmm. Does she do why does, pink, pink, gold why does wow. pink gold peach need a separate credit? <laughs> is that baby that implies Detective that pink Rosalina? gold peach has separate voice lines. So, wow. you, so uh, you'll see they so removed. Sam they removed. Kelly, Samantha Kelly was born in Kenya and has lived in Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, and Actually, Germany. Let me wow, plug man. in. Let me plug in a GameCube controller. Did you could do that I now? Option settings. That's crazy. They changed the whole settings menu. Weird. Oh yeah, because surround sounds just built into the Switch now. Yeah, that's weird. Remake confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Every time I boot up the Switch version of this game, it uh, it hits me how well I think uh, this game upreses to HD. Oh yeah, it's just, it looks great. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It also yeah, upreses really well to 60 frames per second. There's no way to do that. Obviously, you can't do that. It's just imaginary. But it it looks really good. That we're way. Matt, we're the preserving their artistic vision. Yeah, just uh, we're their artistic vision was 60 frames per second. You see it in all of their <laughs> in all their press demos before Listen, the game launches. The, and the first version of way. Justice League was in widescreen, Matt, but that doesn't mean that was the artistic vision, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here we are on a GameCube controller as God intended. Preserving that artistic vision. Of the intro is pretty okay. We well, started. Never mind. I was going to say the intro is really long. Well, this this is unskippable. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't realize just how long uh, the intro was and how like you weren't able to skip it until I tried what? streaming this when the 3D collection start, first came out. Yeah. It's, oh yeah, and you're like is... on embargo. Yeah, I don't know. Like, we only have 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Let's go, come on. <laughs> we get it, he's going to jail. <laughs> he did a bad thing. <laughs> Give him the death penalty. More like as Bales <laughs> Above intended. <laughs> So, the, so Xander, we got a couple people in the chat asking about, uh, maybe you could uh, enlighten us a little bit on this, the Blue Coin cast? Yeah, I've never heard of it. What? Hold on, let me look at the comments. <laughs> Is this the new... Where is the... Why are you asking me? There's two people who started that, you know. There's two. <laughs> you aren't here. I am most no, right. yeah, yeah, you're the one You're the one that's currently sitting on this stream. Yeah, well, Brett has asked me several times. He said, yeah, we should do another episode. And I was like... Eh? Sure. He's like, yeah, now's the, the best. It's a golden new era of 3D platformers. <laughs> Battle and Wonder World coming out soon. This Are one's sure? gonna be real easy to, real fun to play with like a, a, a frame of input delay. As when I watched started, the OBS. Uh, when we started doing that, we were talking like, yeah, we'll do an episode on each 3D platformer. And there's a few new ones that are coming out, like the new Super Lucky Tale, which I think get ready to come out. Also, check check the editing on the voice acting in this tutorial scene. Uh, in <laughs> case you haven't great. seen it yet. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gad Science Incorporated. I mean, as compared to the... Uh the versions of Kingdom Hearts that didn't change the button prompts. This is pretty good. <laughs> that was the Xbox version? Look, look, I'm not saying that anybody that plays Kingdom Hearts off of a PlayStation is a criminal and should go to jail out loud, but... I'm sorry, Joe, what did you go on a war path to get me to do? Also, You're playing here's, here's on the a PS4. Voice. Here's the voice uh, acting editing. Use the R button. If you, you press the shoot. button. Who <laughs> voices flood? There's an answer to that. I don't know it off the top of my head, but there is an answer to that. I'll Google it. One definitely did. <laughs> oh, I was on mute. Kit Harris. There is a Kit voice. Harris is the voice of Flood. Really? No Kit's the voice of Flood? No, no, that's a different that's a different Kit. Oh, okay. Kit Harrington? Harris is a lady. Oh, okay. Every minute is a Nintendo minute. Or what is that saying? Um, what What's that Kit Nintendo Harris? minute uh, slogan? Yo! Kit Harris is the voice of Kate Archer from No One Lives Forever, a game that no one can play anymore. Oh. Thank God we have game, places though. like the Video Game History Foundation to preserve yes. things like that. Hey, hey, by the way, while you're here, you could donate to the Video Game History Foundation, who preserves and maybe the eventually, history of video games. They'll save No One Lives Forever, which is caught up in licensing hell. 
Yeah. Um, it's a really good game. I played that back in the day on PC. So oh. um, it's like a, it's a really fun first person shooter spy parody. So this is a game about the GameCube controller, specifically the analog triggers, where if you just put it down, push it down a little bit, then you can still run. And if you push it down all the way, then you stand in place. Justin Baruby. Hey, does that work? Um, did you, you turn on the analog controller using the GameCube? Control? Yes. So they, they okay. patched it so that it has full GameCube controller support. It works just the way it did back in the day. Okay, awesome. I have not tried it with the GameCube controller yet. Uh, I, uh, it's funny that they patched this just to kill it still. Yeah, weird that they go to the effort. Yeah. I, uh, well, you know, some people are going to have it forever. I'll be a contrarian and, and say that... Uh, I think this game plays better on a Switch Pro controller. I think wow. I actually like the two-button system for the for the for Flood better because it gives you less of a delay to get to like it's faster. Um, like you I, just I'll, I mean, I'll let instantly oh, to, yeah, yeah. As, as always, we I, gotta I, let I, speedrunners be the judge of that, and they prefer the GameCube, I believe. I mean, I they're sure playing the game objectively wrong. The... Video games <laughs> are for fun. Like with the inverted controls, like my muscle memory with this game was all screwed up. Like I couldn't, I was like, this is really weird playing it yeah. corrected, even though it was inverted to me. Mario's going to jail. He deserves it. Before he dies, he must go to jail. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. Is this a death penalty state or is it a life in prison state? Mm. <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, it's, it's a public service state. Which oh, is basically oh, the same thing. In oh, the world. fun fact about this cutscene. Uh, this is a Japanese voice actor reading his lines phonetically. And the reason that I wow. know that for oh sure God. is that if you watch the Japanese version of the game, the script is different and they make blatant language errors that there's no way someone that natively speaks, that like, actually speaks English would make it. That's fascinating. Wow. That like that that makes a lot of sense at how like how stilted the voice acting is. But why just that guy? Like it's not like Budget that's everyone cuts. in the game. I don't know. But like if you watch the Japanese version of this cutscene, like the script is actually different and it has like blatant speech errors. But like was this during that time where video games were not considered to be like high brow unless they had voice acting oh yeah no this was definitely yeah. like voice acting was probably in this as a way to be like well we're, we're hip this was this was vintage um kitty nintendo complaint era yeah yeah isn't this a yakuza game this, like, fan bite? <laughs> like, we all know like the game was rushed for the summer release i want which was like basically the fall when it did come out like i wonder how much of this like story aspect was incomplete when they shipped it because uh the ending is is pretty dang fast like you beat the final boss and then floods dead for a moment and then he comes back to life in the next scene you know what i mean it's just kind of weird i i forget i like i know like wind waker infamously like totally had like a third dungeon early on cut right, out and mm -hmm. I think there's other things there's other things that were kind of trimmed out of there although i'll, I'll say especially after wind waker hd i think the game might be better for like pacing's sake uh the way that it actually is mm -hmm. um but like i know like wind waker definitely there were some corners cut to get it out when they did um not totally sure about sunshine but i think it was the same case where they were like okay we need to get this out yeah. on gamecube because if you do think about that early gamecube time you did have I will forever stand by that the GameCube, like, first month or two is maybe one of the best first month or two of any video game system ever. Like, you had you had Melee a couple weeks after launch along with Pikmin. Um, and Rogue Squadron. Expansion's great. You had Rogue, Rogue Squadron. You had Rogue Squadron Rogue might be one of the great. best licensed games of all time, too. Yeah, you had Monkey, you had Monkey Ball. Hey, Justin. Um, hey, Justin. You had hey, Justin. Uh, Wave Race. Wave Race is great. Um just a lot of good stuff in those first two months i mean just just melee on itself is incredible uh and yeah. then they kind of didn't really have anything for no. most like i think the next first party game was it 2003 was like 
the only big game was like Pac-Man versus or something. Well, that, that, that was, also, that was like, I think 2004 was when it went off the. Or no, 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 it was it was 2003. But 2000, 2001 was all that stuff. Then 2002, I don't think they had a first party game until Eternal Darkness in June. Yeah, but um, I think Sonic that, Adventure 2 came out in like February or January. Yeah. And that was yeah, kind so, of a big deal. That was Sonic yeah, coming to Nintendo for the first time. And also, yeah. the Game Boy Advance game launched the same day. And so Sonic Adventure 2 is the highest selling third party game that the console had, too. So. Yep. I didn't realize that Sonic's debut for Nintendo was on the GameCube. Yep. Yeah. Maybe also, maybe at the same day as the Game Boy Advance. Maybe. Yeah, and I think actually Something Sonic like Adventure 2 came out in Japan, I think in 2001, on GameCube. There's gotta uninvert these controls or reinvert these controls. Um, yeah, it's weird, yeah, I mean, right? like, the GameCube in 2002 was a real Wii U situation. Um, where like sales kind of like it had a it had a solid launch and then things kind of tailed off and things got delayed and they kind of had to get stuff out or else things were going to go completely off the rails. And then two thousand two ninety nine dollars, right? Yeah, yeah, because I think that was around Metro Prime when the ninety nine dollars happened. Yeah, uh, which was uh, late two thousand. That was holiday two thousand two. But you had that run from two thousand two or like summer two thousand two to two thousand three where you had Sunshine Prime and Wind Waker. Um, which is, I mean, it's a good run. And Star yeah. Fox Adventures is in there. Um, we are like, shout out well, to John. Guys, just, I'm still here. <laughs> that blue hedgehog again of all places. <laughs> Chaos Control. <sighs> I found you, Faker. I need, you have to talk over yourself. I'll make you eat those words. I'm not used to being in a group of people that won't immediately pick up the next line of that scene. I don't like it here. I feel very <laughs> out of place. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, the, the audience can't really appreciate this, but in our Discord, the uh, watch stream um, is paused on Flood looking at Mario's crotch. Wait is, wait, is it paused? Oh, post? no, just just the preview. Just the preview, not yeah. the actual Just the preview. Oh, okay. you're, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> No, but it's uh, I was like, wait, is it broken? Is it dollars? Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Yay. Oh, nice. Let's uh, let's let's pop them up to that that three hundred mark, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Because the more we make, the more things we'll give away. Things like games and amiibos, toys, and maps. Uh, maybe maybe a hat. We have maybe one a, mat. We have one sock. mat ready to and give away by the end. And so if real you're lucky, he could be yours. Real quick, I gotta, I gotta, I, because of who I am as a person, I gotta talk about surround sound real quick. Uh, so surround sound, okay. surround sound cannot be broadcast over Twitch. There's no way that I can like one to one show you guys what is happening. But when you speak to the Piantas here, that's in the that's in the rear surround channel, exclusively. Why? I don't know, cause Nintendo. Who mixed this? Miyamoto personally mixed the surround sound, I'm guessing. <laughs> We're gonna set the, uh, the, Ma the Shadow Mario idle animation is the same as uh, Il Piantissimo. It just kind of stands there and laughs at you. Uh, it's probably, they, they use a lot of the same code, probably. Probably the exact same rig and animation mm -hmm. and everything. Obviously, we gotta get this blue coin, right? Well, that's just good so you can save all your progress. One in 239 oh, to go. Matt. You're supposed oh. to get it. <laughs> isn't, it. Isn't there some piece of trivia about how it's like actually useless to save your progress with the blue coins? I mean, I it's just, I mean, playing the game is useless, but like, I mean, besides, you might as well, have a mark of your progress. No, I mean, like, well, I feel like there's there's some like, piece the of trivia about the kind of because nothing is locked behind the number of shines you have. It's all about which shine you've gotten. Oh yeah, blue coins are worthless. So like the the entire concept of the blue coins is worthless because like, there's no real reason to get them. Yeah. Unless you want 100% the game, but you don't get anything out. You could go through and play the entire game and get nothing out of it. It's very strange. Don't, don't you need to do them to get the end game rewards? The JPEG. Uh, oh, okay, well, the, spiders <laughs> just spiders Justin who eats a thousand 100%ed games per day <laughs> is an outlier and should not be counted. <laughs> Okay, guys, we got we got the completionist cops here. Hey, if, if you wanna if you wanna wear a cool vacation shirt and sunglasses, you need, you need that. When I no, when I go on vacation, don't. I wear overalls I and a t-shirt. I think so. I think it's I based know. on how many shines you have. I thought. I don't it, it, it is, but the the shirt the shirt is 120. I think, isn't it? Oh, I did not know that. Okay. 
Well, then if there is a cosmetic, I stand corrected. Yeah. I knew there was something you got for it. But, but for 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 basic main game for any percent, as as they call it in the speedrunning, uh, which which is to, uh, in Justin's terminology, uh, no percent. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I'm okay with a credit run, but like. You okay. Know, okay. For you, you played it purely to have a good time. For for you know, for an any that. for an any percent run, uh, the number of shines means nothing. You need like s seven specific shines. That is the only thing you need for any right. percent. And, uh, also, right here is the only instance I think where you can uh, move on to the next shine if you want. You so there's another one you can do with a glitch, but uh, oh, okay. officially yes. So you, you, uh, you can get to, that um, that shine is a secret shine unlocked at 69 shines. Uh, this I hate you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually get to Pianta Village from uh, the beginning when he first uh, kidnapped Peach. You, you didn't have to go into the statue. You're, you're able to get into the. the I did not know on that. Top of the shine gate, which is interesting. Very strange though, because you're clearly not meant to be there. But the game doesn't break. You just you're there. Yeah. It's too well made. Yeah, it's purely a masterpiece. You know, it's an yeah. open world experience and. No um, falls the, so, but the shine. The, oh, this guy actually acknowledges up to come up here. <laughs> That's nice. Um, Very well done. But so the shine that you can actually get out of order is the watermelon shine, in uh, in Gelato Beach, which is unfortunate because it's an eighth shrine. It's an eighth shine, meaning it's it's not needed for any percent. Oh, okay. So, so it doesn't count hey, for and I mean, if you're going, if you're, if you're going for a hundred percent, then you're not going to skip any shines anyway. So it's actually worthless. Wow, we're at three hundred forty-five dollars. Yeah. Wow. Okay, nice. Nice. Whoa. That's that sunshine uh, magic. Uh, you know what? Pokepal, I'll take it. Pokepal donated sixty dollars and said Neil isn't getting the top voter spot. <laughs> 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 that little of pettiness. I'm here for it. Now, if someone else were to donate out of spite, yeah. Yeah, the price to beat is sixty dollars. Assuming, so, of course, so. that you like, you know, ten more, video ten games. More, ten more, and the Video Game History Foundation can buy one PS5 game. So, um, <laughs> recently I watched a streamer play this game that like wasn't super familiar with like a lot of video games, and especially like Mario games specifically. And uh, was it Ahmed? She, it was Kiara. Oh, it she was okay, she yeah. was she struggled so much with this because it's not immediately obvious what you're supposed to do. Like, it like it's just kind of confusing. And the the I answer. You think to waterboard someone as soon as you see them. The answer it, it for to what you're from. supposed to do <laughs> is inflation porn. <laughs> I, oh, I wonder no. what the first instance in video games of that thing's breathing in, I need to punish it for doing that was. Because, because, that's, like, because that's like a so. thing. That, like, if you see a, a character breathing I mean, in, you're like, Dodongo? I better shoot it. it Dodongo in, like, NES Zelda? Mm. Maybe? There's actually a, 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 a YouTube video. I don't remember the name of the guy that made it. But it's it's this guy has his wife sit down and like she she's not a gamer she's barely ever played video games but she has but he has her sit down and play a couple of uh, a couple of like really famous popular video games including a few that are supposed to be like super casual friendly and uh, like it just gives her minimal what, what input else? to uh, try to try and see what happens. What what example? So the one that that uh, right off the top of my head is Celeste. You know the first, uh, that, like that first moment in the tutorial where it teaches you to do the midair dash, and it like freezes yeah. the game and just waits for you to do it. She yeah. she just she just sat there with no idea what to do because we we have sort of a literacy from playing video games for a very long yeah. time. So when we see something like that happen, we realize this is a tutorial. It's telling me to experiment. She just kind of thought the game broke. <laughs> And uh, she ended uh, for a lot of games. Uh, Breath of the Wild, I think, was was one of these. Uh, she had this specific problem in Dark Souls as well, where uh, she, she wasn't so much confused by what by like not knowing what she could do. She was frustrated by what she can't do because she would solve she would solve game she would try to solve the puzzles in a way of like solving this in real life. What would you do in real life? And video games are very limited in what you're able to do. 
So when she came up with a solution that just wasn't physically possible in the game, she got very frustrated by that. And it's it's a it's a very interesting insight into like the idea of gaming literacy because it's something you don't hear people talk about a lot. But it's it's really is like there are some things that we take for granted. Like like just I don't think about the controller when I'm playing. I and I like mean, twin stick I camera like controls kid. are are insane to like hand to somebody who doesn't play a lot of games and like see them struggle with like a first per like Portal. You hand Portal on controller oh, yeah. to somebody who doesn't play video games. They just, they can't. Yeah, and I, I once tried to have someone play Life is Strange. Life is Strange is like, is one of those Telltale style games. There's no yeah. action to it. There's like, it's it's almost entirely dialogue choices and walking around a world. And she, like, she just couldn't wrap her head around controlling the camera to the point that it kind of like made her a little motion sick. I had a friend who I was showing Breath of the Wild to, who I doesn't play games very often, and they were very appreciative that Breath of the Wild, um, whenever it prompts you to do something new for the first time, it shows all four face buttons, and then it makes the one you're supposed to hit larger, rather than just saying here's the a, hit the A button, hit the B button, so that way like they know which button to hit, rather than having to like look down at the controller. It's, like it's yeah, a small thing. It. It's, it's something. It's something really that Nintendo does really well with the Switch, and some yeah. of that. Is out of necessity because if you're playing like side Joy-Con, right? It's not right. Gonna be yeah, it's actually something I that I wish that... was more consistent across the Switch because that's probably the one single thing where like my gaming literacy hurts me a lot because like now you want to land on that platform. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you like like, like you, Did you like wall jump. Wall jump, wall jump. <laughs> like I play PC, I play PC games that use Xbox layouts. I have a PlayStation and I have a Switch. You tell me to press the X button, and that's on three different spots on all yeah. of those controllers. It's really, it yeah. really messes me up going from Xbox to, to Switch. To so when I PS4, when I got, or even playing different controllers on PC. When I got Game Pass thing? and got an Xbox, uh, my roommate and I played Man of Medan. And then suddenly, I'm trying to be like, a speedrunner. I'm trying to be. Realized, oh God! Neither of us use Xbox controllers regularly, and characters died because we hit the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, well, there's there's something in uh, Monster Hunter Rise, like like you ride on a monster, and then like you need to press the B button to um to stay on it when it tries to shake you off. And like I see the prompt come up on the screen, and it says press B, and I'm like ah okay, and I press A. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's where it is on the Xbox, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have to think about it. Yeah. That's the problem. I will say, I think, I think Breath of the Wild really does such a fantastic job of being more lenient with its literacy. Because mm -hmm. I think it does, it allows you to fail a lot more. And I, th I feel like the Great Plateau is just one of the all-time best modern tutorials. I think oh, yeah. this, I, I think this guy that I, that I mentioned the, the YouTube video. I think he actually made a whole video of his wife playing Breath of the Wild, and I don't think I've watched that one yet. Um, if someone can find like the, the video that I'm talking about so that like I can give it a proper shout out because I, I wish to God I knew the, the guy's name. Shattered Time Lord says he grew up on, they grew up on Nintendo consoles and so trying to complete Hollow Knight on Xbox One required me to rewire <laughs> yeah. my brain yep. because of the button layout. Yeah, that's pretty much that's how it goes. Well, but I think the I, I, like, problem is how they have the different confirm buttons on different yep. systems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Over the Switch, keep what I'm going to call the wrong <laughs> yeah. Well, and right. so, sometimes yeah. it's not even consistent on the same console. Like anyone that played Metal Gear Solid on PS2 knows that problem. Yep. Yeah. Raz Mutant. Or you could just like, you know, DQP or, says uh, that person. Create a game where. Oh, Raz Raz Mutant. Yeah, that's the one. one that was a bad I mean, underworld joke. Yeah. I mean, like that's it's one thing that I think just Nintendo is pretty good at. Because I think I think Breath of the Wild, I think Odyssey does a good job of it as well, of the way they tutorialize stuff and the way there is kind of like it's there's that area. It's not just like oh here's a level where it introduces you a concept and then you have to learn it right away. It just gives you that opportunity to fail, which is an important part that I feel like a lot of games don't really do yeah. well. Because I think I think there I, I saw I saw some Twitter thing circulate. Um, I think it was earlier this week, just about how like hey like we get it you've been making this game for a while you're very good at it like try to actually make a mode that is accessible to everybody as opposed to just people who are super super good at it yeah i remember like, actually i would, I would on... like to see all of your game 
please give me the ability to do that. I actually remember um, I, I saw this happen on a GDQ once. There was a, a game called I Want to Be the Bashi, and this is one of those games that is very intentionally extremely difficult. Like it was in literally unfair, in unfair ways. By yeah, the it, it, it was made by someone who like who who saw a criticism of I Want to Be the Guy be that it wasn't hard enough. So he made a harder game. And I remember at, at a GDQ, I they were talking about guy hell. they were talking about this one specific jump. And he says, uh, so that jump is actually frame perfect. It wasn't supposed to be, but the developer, uh, he made it. He tested it once, got it on his first try, and moved on. But it is a frame perfect jump. Yeah, like that, that sucks. Like that... Yeah, and, and in a game like I Want to Be the Boshi, like, yeah, it's supposed yeah, to be an unfair, like hard game. Points. It works. Yeah. But, like, you kind of see that stuff happen in, like, regular game design enough. Yep. This is... I hate Goober Blooper enough when it I'm not trying to have a conversation. Like, 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 like playtesting is so important in, in games because, yeah, if you're just playing it yourself and you keep on playing it, you're going to be amazing at your game. Mm-hmm. What? What is the box for this? Find people on Switch to play through them, then I'd find the glitches and delete them and re upload. It's a long process. That's just playtesting. Yes, but you need, I need other people to playtest it for me. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you get too close to your own designs. Oh, yeah, I, oh, well, I like, no idea that. When I was working on my Capstone project, uh, I had uh, people from me and that friend group, including Matt, be the, be the playtesters. Uh, and one of the things that I found very funny was upon asking one of our programming friends, like, hey, will you play this for us to see if you can find any bugs? Uh, he asked, do you want me to just play to see if it's good? Or do you want me to break it? And I was like, break it. <laughs> and then he did. That was a fun week. Oh. It's the most, it's like the worst feeling in the world when you like, spend all this time in creative Mario Maker level, or really any game, I suppose, but I've spent more time making Mario Maker levels, uh, and then put literal hours into making it, and then you put it up, and then someone finds a bug, and you're just like, okay, <laughs> That's, there are actually, I believe, there are stories, uh, cause like, QA are the unsung heroes of video games, uh, of video game development, because not only do they make it so that games are playable, but also uh, everybody seems to blame them when a game comes out broken. <laughs> and it's all it's never their fault. Not it is not never e their fault. not even almost it's never their fault. Uh, and so there are a lot of there are a lot of stories. Uh, me and Matt follow a YouTuber named uh, Wooly Wooly Madden, who used to work in QA. You'd find uh, him on his channel Wooly Versus. Yeah, he used to he used to do work. Uh, I believe he worked for IDOS for a long time, and then he worked for one of those uh, agencies that just contracts out QA work. Uh, and he he talked about how like designers and programmers would get legitimately angry if you sent them bug reports because it'd be like, no, it the bug doesn't broken. exist until you find it. Yeah, so <laughs> it's it's. So I, really I, interesting to hear those stories. I didn't learn this until literally 3D All Stars. Each of these has a different speed attached to it. I knew yep. that. Why did you I know even, that? I've never played this game and I knew that. I never knew that. That being said, yellow is still the best. Which one is, is yellow? Go. The fastest? I don't know. <laughs> so is the one I pick. I think it's I green. Just like the, the color. Because of the, I think oh, it controls dude. a little better. Uh, but so anyway, the 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 reason that uh, of course we talk about like all these things about playtesting and everything is that Super Mario Sunshine didn't do that. Yeah, there was no playtesting. Yeah, it didn't need it. Why would you? I don't understand. Why would you came out need to playtest? Yeah, yeah, no, it did. It did. One hundred percent. Came out right from Miyamoto's board. Uh, I mean, as, so so like as, uh, as Athena came out of Zeus's forehead, <laughs> so too did Mario Sunshine appear that time. from Miyamoto. Up. Come on, man. You can jump over turn. the wall. Jump over the wall. Jump, 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 jump. Hold jump. Oh! He did do a wall jump. Oh, now he's, now he's trying to trick shots. 
So I, I have no idea why, but when I was a kid, and I must emphasize I was literally like nine years old, uh, every time I did this level, I would then uh, go around it without the blooper. Because uh, that's the way you're supposed to do it. Like just swimming? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's looking for secrets. He's trying to 120. I suppose. Yeah, yeah. We'll say that's what I was doing. They yeah, should that's... hide a blue coin in there that you can only get by just oh, being Mario, gosh. not on a squid. Matt Matt loves to 100% complete games that are aggressive towards people who try to 100% them. That's why he liked Donkey Kong 64 so mm -hmm. much. Yep. It's one of his favorites. One of his favorite games. It's really, if you think about it, Donkey Kong 64 is the best game to ever be in a Nintendo console. Now, I know what you're saying. Whoa. That's a hard How game. can I agree more? Uh, <laughs> that is some big All dark right, energy. Joe. I, I agree, Joe. There is a lot of room for me to agree more. Huh. All right, there Grandma. Let's <laughs> get you mad. There, there is a lot of room for me to agree more. <laughs> we have an entire, like, hour-long episode about Oh, my God. Are you going to beat this guy from the roof? Hey, this is how you're supposed to do it. It's not, wow, but that's how <laughs> that's how I do it. That's a that's a wow. That's cool. I like it. I mean, this is this is what happens when you play a game when you're nine years old. I don't know okay. how I know this. It's just it's there. You do it. You just do it. Nine year old Xander was up in his face like, "Come on, dude, let's go." <laughs> I fight every monster in Monster Hunter. Is, is <laughs> get to the, the highest, most yep. difficult because a lot of them like can't really climb. So in Rise, you can cheese a lot of them by just getting up on top of something and just shooting at them from there. That's but how Matt. Beat, that's how Matt beat Ursula. Except instead of shooting them from there, he just let Ariel and Goofy do it until they. I watched some of your your playthrough of Kingdom Hearts One. Um, I played that game and enjoyed it, like back. Uh, it was right before Kingdom Hearts 2 came out. I think that game just sucks. Oh, I agree. it's not good. It is not a good game. Like, I think I think the second one is a lot better, but man, that first game just sucks. Sh I shout out to, uh, by the way, game. shout out to the Cataquax. I somehow talked them into the top 10 Mario enemies of all time. <laughs> and I, I stand look by at, it. Look at that little shit. I stand look by it. it. Very upset about it. Look at him. Look at that um, floppy now. I stand by it. Imagine the process that evolution takes to uh, that natural selection takes to create a creature where its primary method of defense is throwing you a s s directly into the air so that you land exactly where you were before. Just Im just imagine that. There's a possibility that when they were evolving, things were lighter and they were throwing them into the sun. I, the I basic think biology. I think what you discovered, Matt, is that uh, the world of Mario was created by a god. <laughs> because evolution could not have resulted in the world of Mario. Oh <laughs> Intelligent design. Yep. Yep. It's interesting that I think cataquacks like were designed just for this level to prevent you from getting to that sand castle in time. And that they are in so many games now. No, they they, they were they were made for the watermelon. They were made oh, for you double dash. You're right. You're, you're right. Yeah. They were the watermelon level. Why? I'm so this is the first level. <laughs> Is this I, the first I hope game that the next the 3D street? Mario just cataclysms are everywhere. Yeah, I was a little disappointed that you couldn't catch one in uh, Odyssey. You know, was it's gonna great. make me do that again. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this game. Is you. <laughs> you gotta pay. Listen, this game isn't for you casual gamers. All right. No, this really is the most hardcore 3D Mario game. It truly I is. <laughs> I'm reminded Have of. Have you considered perhaps getting good? I did get good. No, that's, that's Dark oh, Souls. Oh, I know you uh, did. You're, you're, think, you're thinking about Dark Souls, uh, which is the oh, game yeah. that's easier than this. It's kind of dark. Dark Souls is just like... the Dark Souls is the Mario sunshine of wait, wait, action wait, wait, wait. RPGs. Pan, pan up. Pan up. Oh, I gotta kill him. If you want pain and suffering, what, what is that? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's, that's, go that's, that's no, that, lighthouse? yeah, that's the top of the lighthouse. So you uh, use the rocket jump to get a shine from that. <laughs> that's the thing yeah. I shouldn't point that out like that shouldn't be there. Well, oh, programming is hard. F-Zero GX is impossible. No, you can do it. Do you Trust think, me, you is it possible it. to unlock the, um, I can, actually, I guess you couldn't unlock the rocket before this, so you, there's no way to get up there. Uh, well, I, I, well, there's... The lighthouse, but... 
that they forgot to get rid of. So actually, there there is a way to unlock the rocket jump before this. Uh, this is what I did as a kid. You go down to your local GameStop and buy this thing called an action replay. Okay, all right. And then, uh, and then you turn on the cheat that does the infinite hover. And then when you yeah. use that with the rocket nozzle, you learn very quickly that the rocket nozzle does a single burst immediately, and that's all. And when it does that, when it does that infinitely, you immediately go to the top of the skybox. Yeah, you can actually do that without um, without having to use the action replay. You can like, I, I forgot the exact command. I have to look it up, but I, it works in the 3D uh, All Stars collection. You like so, start start creating like the rocket, and then you cancel it out, and you store them, and then you can kind of keep storing them, and they stack, and then. You know, once you finally let go, you, you fly up, and it could be several minutes before you hit the ground again. Apparently, this is a really easy shine to glitch your way through from speedrunners, and I just... I don't remember how to do it, because I feel like it'd yeah, be really cool if we did that. Yeah, Why do they just let the cataquacks hang out on this beach? How do you do it? Because it would be really cool if we pull it off. Because they're uh, not monsters. You glitch just, under that spinning thing They're somehow. the native population. Yeah, I think you need a fruit. Yeah, you're right. This is this is someone's cue to look it up <laughs> and tell me how to do it. I ain't looking it up. No, it'll All be the right, coolest thing in the world if we do it. Is there a fruit over here? No, no. where do I get a fruit? There's Can you a get a cat fruit? trying to crawl around on my desk, so that's that's my. I'm kind of surprised my cat right has not tried to come in and say hello. Here we go. You wanna see the mu here? Go look at the camera, cat. Be on camera. You're a star. Might as well do this cat this uh, this shine properly while we're figuring all that out. Oh what? The uh, there's a lot to this glitch for me to explain. <laughs> but there's a whole wiki page on it. <laughs> stuff, there's a whole thing that says stuff that can go wrong. <laughs> you fall into a fruit grinder. Like, I'm not even joking. It's like bullet points and then a whole section that's just stuff it, that can go wrong. It's it's like a Kickstarter campaign. It's like risk <laughs> <laughs> might not happen. <laughs> Running around the coconut. Risks. Not... We might do too good a job. Where That's what at? a real Kickstarter <laughs> campaign looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of what... There was some recent Kickstarter that literally basically <laughs> said that. That was like, there's really no risk to this project. And I'm pretty sure it didn't come out. Wasn't it? The, <laughs> wasn't there a Kickstarter of a guy trying to like make a Zelda game? And like one of the risks was, Nintendo might not give me the Zelda license. <laughs> <laughs> I think I vaguely remember that. That's happened a few times. I saw a Star Wars they, game. They gave it to Philip, so... There was a there was a game that was straight yeah, up they using the... Phillips, and that's why they don't give it to anyone no, else. No, they didn't give it to Phillips. <laughs> they were ordered by a judge to give it to Phillips. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, you don't know? I don't know that part of the story. That's well, so that's part of the whole Sony PlayStation thing, or, or the Nintendo PlayStation thing, uh, because they dropped out of the deal with Sony and made a, right. and to to make the disc based system with Phillips, and then they just decided not to do it at all. But deciding not to do it at all was a breach of contract. So Phillips got to make a Zelda game. <laughs> three. Three, yeah, Zelda I got to make three Zelda games and a Mario game. Yeah, yeah, they did do that. That's a that's a dead Mario game if I ever heard one. <laughs> I wonder who <laughs> Maybe that one's I, fine to be bad. Dead. Who do you think owns the rights to those? Uh, Does I anyone believe... want the rights to those? I'm just curious. Well, I'm pretty, I mean, I'd I'm take them sure. if they're up for grabs, but like, <laughs> I'm, sure I, I'm pretty sure Nintendo owns the rights because they shut down that uh, HG Remaster a couple weeks ago. Or a couple mm. months ago. They are the ones that see and it. Oh, they fixed I don't know this. What that it, when know, the, when actually, uh, the, the frame rate used to be so bad for that. Yeah, they fixed it. Okay, well. Uh, by the way, before we have to move on to our next game, are there any particular shines people want to see? Corona Mountain. Besides, that's not a shine. You can get Whoa. to the Pachinko machine if you really want. No. <laughs> I think the Sandbird is worse than Bird, the yeah. machine. No, no I, it's I, not. I, no, the Sandbird's fine. Sandbird's not fine. Oh, I'm going to need the uh, one you had to ride Yoshi out to the like, little pool, and then you had to get through the poison pond. Oh, God. I don't Even think we know that one. The, that one and the pachinko machine, I think, are the One there. that we can reasonably reasonably fit into the 15-minute time we have left. <laughs> here's, the, uh, here's the thing about the pachinko machine. 
It's not about correcting your movement once you're in the air. It's about where you launch off from. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, John. Le start. Legally not gambling. We get it. Like, you just, <laughs> you just launch from different places every time and you'll gamble go to a different ball. spot. Gambling law loopholes. Yes, we Game know. of skill. I, uh... Random nice thing about this remaster. Uh, I like that they they increase the resolution of these mirrors. Yeah, which I seems like a thing you'd have to go out of your way to do. Mm -hmm. But they all. Yeah, that was that was rough even on GameCube, wasn't it? Like on a on yeah, a I mean, CRT. It was, it was impressive on it was impressive on GameCube. I mean, yeah. it was something. It's all on real GameCube. time, and you can see the whole level in it. But uh, they look really nice on on the remaster. The uh. I know the frame rate drops, but the sequence with the mantas at the hotel I thought was the coolest thing ever in a Mario game as a kid. Like just seeing that many things yeah. like trying to come after me. Pretty cool. So Mario Sunshine came at that right age where I wasn't old enough to understand why that was a big deal. <laughs> they loved doing that. I mean, like every one of their games had some sort of sequence where there were just like a million things. Like Paper Mario had like the whole chapter with like the, the Pikmin knockoff, Pikmin itself, yep. you know, the well, they were, in this level. They were they interested in that early. I mean, that was like the whole Mario 125 thing. Like they were. Uh, it was a excuse big, me, Mario 128. You fake fan. You're fired. You're fired. I I, lo I lost. I misplaced three of them. Uh, <laughs> but the whole the whole thing of How do you of having a, a lot of God. they're well, really small. <laughs> Have you seen them? They're tiny, and they easily fall off of their little world, and then you're like, ah, I'm down to 125, and falling. Get lost in that pizza. Yeah. And today's the day that the rest of them die. <laughs> They're just, <laughs> instead of just sitting there flicking Mario's off of that thing. Metroid Prime 124, 123. Happens to be that today is when they finally hit 128. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think they're going to celebrate Mario's 64th anniversary? Yeah, we'll all be dead. If they're still around. Yeah, that's that's assuming the planet is still here. In, yeah. <laughs> like, listen, 30, we got 35. That wait, seems like a miracle. How how long has yeah. it been since we heard that uh that 10 years left thing? I was going to say, so, yeah, 35. Yeah, guys, I'll be uh I'll be in my 60s waiting for uh waiting for a 64th. <laughs> wait, wait for Metro Time Will you 4. Will you be 64? Pikmin 4, Metroid no, 4. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the same age as Mario. Who's going to be 64 on Mario 64's 64th anniversary? I... I mean, my people born in 1996. That makes oh. sense. That does. That is how numbers work. <laughs> my wife is close. She's two years off. And talk, okay. talk about things right, guys, uh, real quick, nice, I just want to say one thing. Uh, happy Wiggler Wednesday. I'm <laughs> <laughs> to make this a things later, and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm just wishing everyone I'm a happy Wiggler Wednesday. Wiggler. Yeah, happy Wiggler Wednesday, everybody. I'm going to tweet that right now. I'm just well, going to make a spell I, check it. I'm just going to tweet it real fast. <laughs> yeah. Send it out. It'll be fine. Yeah, guys, I got this idea for a social post. I think fans will really like it. I'm just, uh, I'm just, hey, I'm we've just been at a uh, on our month, donations. We've been at we've been at 3:45 for too long, and the random arbitrary goal we set was 3:50. Someone <laughs> needs somebody to donate five dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my <laughs> mind. An arbitrary goal because it's his 35th anniversary. John. Well, it could be like 3,500, Neil. I mean, that seems a little like. Or 350. I to set a goal it could be get. 35 dollars, and we'd be doing really well right now. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if we can make the goal higher, we can't make it lower. So that's why oh. I was like, well, I'll just set the, set the thing high. And I'm like, no, let's let's see if, if we can get 350. So 3,500 is our next goal, right? Yep. Yep, it just shoots right up. It's Oh, I forgot he goes up there. Oh, shit, he's, gonna, he's only going to use the ones over there, he's isn't a, he? He's an all-terrain vehicle, uh, this guy. Do the one where the, no, that's Venom. That, that's Venom off. Oh, fuck, he's like, oh, oh there he is. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this this uh, segment of jokes that Matt makes that go over most people's heads, uh, <laughs> but not mine. Uh, I mean, half my jokes are pretty much just for you, Joe. 
That's terrifying to think about. Does Matt know that everyone else is here? Huh? Does he, who's does he think he's just streaming with, with Joe? John, that's assuming that we aren't all just figments of Matt's imagination. I think you have to go to the one in the by the sand castle. Or the, or the yes. sand castle. Nintendo World Report never existed. It's just something that's been in Matt's head this entire time. And it's getting considerably worse with every second. It's like that I anime about the girl in the zombie apocalypse. It's weird that he started imagining it in 1999 and took so long to join staff. <laughs> like, get your well, kids well, no, well, well, no, John, Matt, John, are you aware of a imaginary uh... website to anime world report? Like, why did you just imagine it to be that to start with? Well, no, John, stream... John, are you aware of the uh, the philosophical idea of last Thursdayism? No. So the, enlighten me. So last Thursdayism is the idea that um, the the world be the world began exactly as it is last Thursday and there's nothing you can do to prove that wrong why why Thursday is it because you can never get the hang of Thursdays or no it's just it's just last Thursday man yeah it's last Thursday that's what I mean that's it's just a fact that's when it started I yeah. don't know why it's Thursday though is it a hitchhiker's it, guide it reference is. I don't is know what day what Thursday why were you born on your birthday uh well don't go too <laughs> in depth into that one I mean yeah. What am I allowed About to say? I'm Twitch? Prior. <laughs> yeah. I think Twitch only has a problem with nipples. Okay. So, <laughs> well, well, I'll take like my so shirt off while I explain. <laughs> We're good. And sometimes they don't. So. Yeah. It depends. Tell you what. If we get to three thousand five hundred dollars, <laughs> Neil will take off his shirt. All right. Why is it me? Because you vo you clearly were volunteering. I saw you stand No, no, that up. was for the pants, because I heard that uh, the only problem was... Oh, okay, sorry. I misspoke. At $3,500, Neil will take off his pants. Assuming he's wearing any. I mean, nobody... I literally just check. stood up and... You guys, you guys wear pants? I only saw a shirt. I didn't, you didn't stand up that far. Maybe the, the, on, the only person here... Here's the only off. person here who I'm confident is wearing pants Here's is Joe, thing. because I can see his pants on his web... on his camera. <laughs> Can and you? all you other people, I I'm not confident. As you should. It would have been so much better if just a hairy leg came up. <laughs> and you're right. The whole time. It turns out I was the pantsless. It's like that professor that like when the pandemic started is like, hey, so the Skype stuff, the Zoom calls are kind of weird, right? But we're all like not wearing anything underneath our laptops. And then, like, no one said anything, and he's like, all right, turn to your page 33 in your textbook. And, like, <laughs> and then three days later, I get assume the blue coin, was man. fired? Oh. No, you don't get blue coins until uh, you're ready to 100% the game. So you can just go to yep. a checklist of all of them. But, yep. Matt, did you see that you guy have to made save in case you fall. Oh, if you had <laughs> saved right there, then you could have respawned right there, Matt, but you didn't save. <laughs> that is not how that works. Well, yeah. All right, how so would you know? Left. Seven minutes left until we put the worst Mario game to rest. We're playing 3D World? <laughs> Finally, I can delete Odyssey. You know, I'll take that. All these triggering <laughs> words right now. I can't handle I really, it. I mean, it's it one like, of those two, right? It's right, really chat? Sad. I mean, I mean, for me, it'd be Galaxy 2, of course. Oh, I forget that one even exists. That's how bad it is. <laughs> No, that game is better than the first. It's okay, so does the. All tower. right. I don't like Chat. agreeing with Justin. Now this is done. weird. Now you've, now you've changed the whole conversation. To... Chat. Um, what's the worst 3D Mario game? Oh, 3D Mario game. Okay. Now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's yeah. a completely different. Obviously, Justin. Obviously, all the 2D ones are bad. So that wouldn't even be a thing to talk about. <laughs> yeah. We're just there's talking not, about. It's not a single ones. good 2D Mario ever. Yeah. Never yeah. happened. Uh, um, somebody accidentally typed 3D. Sometimes somebody accidentally typed "Sunshine" is the worst. Uh, but we're looking for the yeah, worst really, one. They not probably the best meant Galaxy one. Two. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to go with 3D. Which land. 3D Mario <laughs> is your favorite? <laughs> uh, 3D Land is. I. I think I think the the 3D World 3D Land formula works really well as a handheld game. Uh, um, I don't I think, think it translates to a console game. The first half of 3D Land is interminably boring. Yes, yeah, 3D Land know. gets Super good in the half second is, half. Back half is fine. Um, the first half is is like I I fell asleep playing that game. <laughs> it's like year. inoffensive though. Like whereas 3D World is is 
No, but like my thing. So, so having you know replayed 3D World very recently on Switch, and I do I do have to say that I think the Switch version speeding Fuck. it up does. Fuck. Uh -oh. Matt, oh. Matt, 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 Matt. Oh, oh. Just hang out there. Don't, don't panic. Don't panic. Oh my God. Hey, fine. Joe. This Joe. This level's mandatory. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Um, I man. Do... In a few months, this is good. This channel is gonna get really fun. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Thank um, God for I, those I, weird I, hit detection. Moves. I don't even. I got so distracted and stressed out for math that I forgot what we were talking about. We're talking uh, about three D uh, World. Oh, three D World. Three D World. So I do think some of the the, the improvements of the Switch version, um, like make it make the game better. But my thing with three D World as well, especially in comparison to three D Land, is that three D World has like a world or world or two that are a little kind of like slow. I think the rest of the game is really great. Oh, no, 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 like, no, on no, par no, no. With the back half of three D Land. <laughs> <sighs> what? Um, I got really scared that the physics were gonna do it. I do. I I had a lot more fun with 3D World than I expected to on Switch. Yeah, I think 3D World is just weird. It's weirdly scaled for a lot of people, and yeah. So it's and and the speeding up does help with that, but I still feel like it just. It's like, yeah, I, like I it's simultaneously not, not have less fun playing it with other people, but also it's so clearly designed to be played with other people that it... Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, like, it's... it's 3D World is not my favorite 3D Mario game, but I I'll just load think up it's really Pilkantismo good. I'll load up on my other file. Oh, that's a good way to... Yeah, because I... Is there I, a way to have him kill you? Maybe. So, uh... I remember. Oh, you lose to, and then you get a game. You die. Yeah. I, so I remember the first time, like the first, my first playthrough on Switch. Uh, I like I, I grinded it out to destroy him, and he every time you beat him, he just copies your best time. Oh really? Yeah. Ooh, that's like he'll break cool. physics to get that time. I mean, wouldn't we all? I'm sorry. The conversation uh, but... just kind of ended because of me. <laughs> Yoshi Safari right. is 3D Mario. So here's here's what uh, we're gonna do right now. No, because we're getting we're getting up on Fire Emblem, which is gonna be real boring. Um, <laughs> says you, <laughs> and right. says Fire Emblem. Uh. <laughs> um, oh hey, we crossed 350. Yeah. Nice. Well, bye five. everybody. Stream going down. Yeah, start sharing the tweet with your friends and your en enemies. Share it with everybody. Oh, stream. someone just donated five dollars and said there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> then who else donated ten? All right, let's let's watch this guy. Let's see what he does. Current records: nineteen seconds. So, not to get this is like a a lore moment, but in Bowser's Fury, Bowser Jr. has his paintbrush. At the end of Mario Sunshine, he loses his paintbrush. So, does that be? It's you a different tell paintbrush. Me. I think, I think you need to make a video trying to refresh it. No, Xander uh, yeah. has a different paintbrush because the one in Sunshine has the e get on it. I think it's a different design. Did, did you guys just well, see him run straight up that sheer hill? Straight up that hill? Missed it. Goodbye, Mario, again. So, All right, so what Somehow are we qualifying as? Maybe he Mario broke into the lab and stole another paintbrush. One more time. Or maybe Egad is a puppet master. He gave him another one. He's like, all right. Egad is the Mario world's greatest monster. Yeah, well. Maybe he created. He Wally did. Baby. He did willingly give up King Boo in a garage for sale. That's a that's an actual thing he did. I didn't. I didn't remember that part of what. Yeah, what in the Dark game Moon, establishes. I chose the wrong one. Dark okay, Moon, like the Luigi's Mansion too. Luigi's like, how do you yeah. come to escape? And Egad's like, oh, I sold all my paintings in the garage sale. Yep. <laughs> Why would Egad's kind of a what? dumbass. The 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 plague hit all of us in different ways, and we had to do things <laughs> to uh to make ends meet. Does Dark Moon really count though? Yes. It's Unless great. You want uh, to have no, the arcade right. game in its place. Okay, so let's really pay attention Man, to has Il any, has anybody Have either of you, have any of you played the uh, Luigi's Mansion arcade game? Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's really neat. Yeah. It has like haptics in the, in if the we, uh, um, controllers if, if, that make it. I that, know there's an arcade outside of Boston that has it. That's, that's mm. last play so usually at David yeah, here, Buster's here, here, here comes this yeah, guy. Yeah, Dave and Buster's. I think it was. A, it, you know what? It wasn't a Dave and Buster's. Um, 
that I wound up playing it a lot one night when we were up there in Boston. So, uh, if, if events happen oh. sometime in the next five years, oh. maybe, maybe we'll try to play some of these oh. arcade effects. Oh, yeah. 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 Hopefully well that, done. Those stay in, uh, so now we've got to see him go even faster, right? The theater is around <laughs> here closing up shop for good. What's the what's the world record for Pantissimo? I have no idea, but I want to I want to like, see him. I'm not uh, sure how much faster you could do it. I want to see him go even faster now. Um. All right. So what are we counting as 3D Mario's? We got 64 Sunshine Galaxy, Galaxy 2, 3D Land, 3D World, Odyssey, and I Bowser's Fury as its own entry. Any so other 64 games? 64 DS maybe. Do we want to include 64 DS? Yes. Mm. It's got its own levels in it, you know. I just, I just, just are, are you included, I mean, only if you're including a separate version of 3D World for Switch. Okay, let's see Il Piantismo go even further beyond, as DQB says. I mean, would we says. want to make the 3D World for Switch be part of 3D World Fury? plus Bowser's Fury? Yeah, I would just do it by well, what you buy. Bowser's so, Fury is separate. I don't know, you, you can't buy it separately, though. Yeah, but they're com it's like a different thing. I will say that 3D the 3D World being packaged thing. with Bowser's Fury does kind of drag down Bowser's Fury as an experience. <laughs> like you have to like navigate around 3D World to get to it. Oh man, he go. Yeah. Why is that his voice? Oh wait, does does he oh. have a does he have a maximum that he can't go? Oh my God, yeah. he has a maximum. Yeah. He ha he has a his maximum speed is twenty seconds. I never knew that. Wow. Wow. We learned well something done. tonight. And okay. as it should be, Mario Sunshine is the one game in this stream where we don't end by killing Mario. Uh, because <laughs> Mario Sunshine is forever and eternal. All, All right. right. So so are we counting sixty four DS as a separate game? I think yes, because it's different enough. And I'd say three D world is basically other than some adjustments the same game depending on now they are improvements so, yes like it, it right. represents the I'm best gonna, version of that I'm, like, yeah, I'm gonna like i'm gonna get to uh setting up the next game okay here's what i'm gonna do based on the what do we have we have two four six we got eight seven seven people in this chat Mm -hmm. I want everybody's rankings of their top 3D Mario games, and we will see, according to the people that are sharing their faces and, and talking on this stream, what the best 3D Mario is.